Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a solo Grandmaster Fallen Saber with Titan. For my kinetic, I'll be using the Nameless Midnight. Next weapon is the Arc Auto Rifle, which is craftable. For my heavy, I'll be using exotic, the Grand Alcher. What? A titan? Oh my goodness, Blitz. So this week I decided to go for the titan. This is going to be an extra, extra video. And we're going to do the mini cheese at the war set. I also do want to thank everyone's support for my channel and I appreciate it very much. I also want to give many shout outs for the people who did watch my previous video. It wasn't commentary because I didn't have time at all. Very sleepy life stuff going on. So I do want to give a shout out to that fps guy also i want to give another shout out to a turtle sorry if i pronounced your name wrong i'm really bad at names this is why you guys shouldn't hire me to make name announcements for graduation for students next i do want to give a shout out to super mario 3607 and yes i will try to get the dungeon done i'll try it's just i need to be three days off work. I'll try. Also, I do want to thank Segna3507 because he is probably the nicest guardians ever. Also, many shout outs to J8639. Nice sparrow skills. And I did reply. I did say that when I was doing his run, I was really sleepy. And I don't know how I did that perfect sparrow in the beginning. The exotic that I'm using is Grand Alcher, or I would call it Grand Alter. But since this exotic has a unique name, I'm just going to call it the Grand Alcher machine gun. Now this weapon is actually not so bad. It actually does decent amount of damage because of the arc surge with a buff of 25%. And... It's actually pretty good. The only bad thing about it is the slow rate of the machine gun. But when you do have 20 missiles, you can switch by holding square. And on Xbox, I think it's X. On PC, I have no idea. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know which button you press for PC. And if I'm wrong on Xbox, I apologize for that. And you can get the mini rockets. And when you do shoot the enemies, you can with the catalyst, you can blind them. So this is actually really good dealing with the ads, dealing with the final boss. But the cons is you have to be really close to the overload champions or champions and the boss. Now this video will be a little slow, which... I'm pretty sure you guys notice. Now, I was doing a lot of testing with different types of exotics. So I didn't really use my super so much. This is just mainly focused on using the exotic weapon, the machine gun. The Oucher, or the Grand Oucher. And I forgot to switch my melee for my Titan. Because I was doing so many test runs on my Titan with different types of exotics. I did try higher light by the way, it did not work out well as I wanted. I mean, I did the run, I made it to the boss fight, but I just wasn't really happy with it. So I decided to switch to something else. And I was trying Zeno, it was eh, okay, but you need surges because there's no solar surge, so it was a pain. And I decided not to use it for this video. For my Titan, I wanted to change to the other melee, the one where I can dash and blind the enemies. I wanted to use that one, but because I was in the rush and too much testing for over four hours with different types of exotics, I just didn't want to. I just completely forgot. And when I was doing this run, this was the test solo run for the machine gun to see if it's gonna work. And then when I did get the completion, I was debating to do the run again or upload it because it was already late at night and I was really tired. And then thus, I made this video and yeah, pretty much what was 
basically this is the focus. This machine gun has a lot of a lot of ammo. So one shot can easily take down the gold bars, the resistant vandals. And you could take down the invisible fallens that we despise, they can two-shot you. And for some reason, they can almost one-shot you in Hunter. I don't know why, but Hunter seem to have really bad recovery. Even though you put high to recovery, I, I'm assuming with the Arc subclass, it wouldn't be that bad. But if you are going for a Void subclass, then for some reason, they can almost one-shot you because your recovery will probably be low. Now for the Warlock, I would say the Warlock is probably the most fun for this Nightfall because of the Arc Soul build and for this season it is Arc. So if you do want to go for the Arc Warlock, go ahead. You might as well spam it before this season ends. I was having trouble here because I was trying to see if I can precision shot with the Overload Champion but the Barrier Champion immune it. And I was hoping maybe, maybe I can stagger it even though it's immune, but it didn't work out for me. So this one took me a while, so my bad. And I would take down the barrier champion, but since I'm not using Wish Ender and it's just not going to work. I was just having a lot of trouble and yeah, look at my health. It is already getting really bad. See, this is the pros and the cons of using off-meta weapons. If you are using meta weapons, this is probably more easier. And hey, I don't blame you. Definitely use meta weapons. Why not take advantage of it? I would too. I have taken advantage of the meta weapons for this season. Because Nightfall's this season is just so boring. Okay? When I say boring, I say just ability spam. And then meta weapons. That's about it. It's really hard to go creative for this season. And I'm hoping, I guess, next year or eight months from now, they will change the Grandmasters. And there is going to be the State of the Game article, which 50% I'm looking forward to it. And then the other 50%, not really so much. For the Troll Guardian, 50%. I would say they're trying to make it exciting. But it's not that great. I mean, there's just one good thing and then everything else is just not so good. That's the other half of me. And then the other half of me is really excited and hoping. Hoping they're going to have 12 man raids. You know, new stuff coming for the game. Changing the GMs a little bit better. You know, removing battlegrounds. Because <laughs> I hate battlegrounds. I hate battlegrounds so much, guys. If we get battlegrounds next season, I'm just... Before I even start the battlegrounds solo run, I'm gonna go touch grass, alright? And then do the run. On a meta subclass and a meta weapon. Anything that is meta for next season. Because I'm really fed up with the battlegrounds. Alright, first things first. I am using the Kinetic Nameless Midnight. I think Randy's has the perk, the kinetic perk, where when you're doing precision shots or shots, right, with the Scott Rifle, it makes this really cool explosion and it really dominates the Overload Champions. Shout out to the Guardians, because I remember you guys comment about it and I haven't had time to test it out because I was just so busy. And I am trying it for this Nightfall because this Nightfall is probably the easiest. I wouldn't really do any testings on Corrupted or Battlegrounds or something that is really strict, like Proving Grounds, for example. But for Saber or Devil's Lair, then I would say yes. You know, I will try to test things out with different weapons and see if it's going to work out. So finally, I was able to deal with the Overload Champion, but you can see this machine gun is really good. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not using the missiles. I want to use the missiles with the with the spawn of the two Overload Champions. Now, I have said previous videos and on my other old runs, well, I will say a month ago, of Grandmaster for Saber is 
there are two methods to deal with this situation when you do break the arc charge. You can go back inside a tunnel and deal with the overload champions and the invisible fallens. Or if you have a strong subclass and if you have if you know your weapon's gonna be good, alright, then I recommend you could just spawn kill the overload champions. It depends on you, by the way. So for me, I decided to go with this method. Might as well, because Titans are pretty powerful. And I decided to go for this method. So I threw my Storm Grenade and then just spam my missile. I spam the missiles for the machine gun. So I hold the square button so I can get the missiles and then shoot them. And then finally, I did take down the Overload Champion and then use my finisher and then that corpse, the Overload Champion corpse from the left side scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it scared the bungee out of me. The reason why I was shooting is because I thought the Overload Champion didn't die. And it was distracting me. I was usually going to throw my storm grenades. But then this guy was bothering me. He was distracting me because when I was doing his run, I was kind of giggling, laughing because his corpse looks like it's dancing or I'm not really sure, but it was distracting. I mean, how the bungee am I supposed to focus? All right, guys. I mean, imagine you use your finisher on an overload champion and it turns into a corpse and it's doing this to you while you're trying to deal with the snipers and then the invisible fallens. Wouldn't you get distracted? Wouldn't this run be slow right now at this moment? You would just look at it and say, wow, how the heck did that happen? Alright, so I was just so distracted, so I am so sorry. This corpse was making a lot of noises as well, I don't know if you noticed. It was just so bizarre this run. I wasn't sure if it was bugs or server issues. At this point, I just said, all right, this is just going to be a really awkward run. So I might as well just get it done over it. So I thought the door was that way. So my mistake. And now through the heavy charge. So funny story. So when I was doing my test runs on my titan on different types of exotics. I was actually just going with the one go orb method because I did it so many times and then I was starting to make mistakes here and there, getting stuck on the visible walls, getting, you know, not jumping on time. I decided to go for the boring method. I don't really like doing this method on titan. I will prefer the A to B heavy orb method. But because I did this so many times and I was just starting to make mistakes and I was starting to get sleepy and frustrated because I was trying like five different types of exotics, non-meta weapons, and it wasn't working out on the easiest nightfall for this season. I mean, isn't that sad? It wasn't working for the Titan. It could work for the Warlock, could work for the Hunter, but it just wasn't working. So I decided to go for the boring method where I just go on this section, wait for the lightning. And then I'm going to go to the back of the stairs and then hopefully I'll throw my grenade. I do want to advise that you can also use Arc Pulse grenades. I was trying it out on my test runs. It works great too. I just decided to go for Storm Grenades to try it out because I haven't really tried out Storm Grenades so much this season. I was trying more of the Arc Pulse Grenades for the Titan. But you guys know that Hard Amos like got nerfed. It used to be 10 seconds, now it's 5. Or if I make a mistake, it's 6, but I doubt it. And they nerfed the Storm Grenades. It used to have a faster cooldown. Now it's the same cooldown as Arc Pulse Grenades, which is why many players will use Arc Pulse Grenades or they could use Storm Grenades as well. But as I said before, I was just testing out with the Storm Grenades and it's okay. It's decent. I know they nerfed it, so it's all right. I do advise you to try out storm grenades if you want to, or you could just switch to the arc pulse grenades. See, the thing about the arc pulse grenades is when you throw them, they can blind enemies from what I was reading from the fragments. 
Now this is the part where I was having a little trouble and the reason why I was having trouble in this section and this part took a long time is well, because I was using this machine gun. It has slow firing rate. It's hard to take down champions on time. Because the thing about champions is you got to kill them fast. can't mess around with them too much. Unless you're really using a really strong barrier or overload weapon. Such as Le Monarch, Wish Ender. All those goody weapons. And yes, you can take your sweet time. But because I'm using an overload Sky Rifle. And I'm using a a auto rifle. I could have some issues dealing with this part, and I'm not using the exotic chest plate, the fallen star, where I can get an overshield when using my super, and then it makes my super two times or th I would say three times more powerful. Now, I would say that if you are traveling, if you are having trouble with the champions, I recommend switching to the Fallen Star exotic chestplate. Because you can get an overshield on your Titan when you are dealing with the overload champions or barrier champions. And then you can, t you can take them down on time and then pull back because you'll get the overshield. Now, I didn't use it for this one. As I said in my description, it is optional. You don't have to use higher emails light. I know it's nerfed. Yes, I understand that. You don't have to use it. You can use the other one where you can get an overshield. You can use your super. And you can have an easier time dealing with the champions. And a much more easier time dealing with the final boss. The final boss, I was having some trouble. But as I said before, I was just focusing on the machine gun of how powerful it was going to be. That's why on my last boss fight, on the last phase... On purpose, by the way. <laughs> On purpose, I didn't use my super. Alright, I was trying to use as much ammo as I can and then use my super. Alright, and I know for other players this is a bad idea. Yes, I know, but doing these type of videos is not easy as it looks. So, as I said before... Just use meta weapons. This is just a tryout of using this machine gun. This machine gun's actually pretty good. This is good for fire team. I would say that. This is really fun for fire team. I haven't tried for fire team, but I can picture it that it's gonna be a really fun exotic to use with your friends, with your friends, with LFG. And then you can save your missiles for the final boss. And then you could just do so much damage. So much damage. And then you can just impress the fire team or LFG players when you are using this weapon so highly recommend if you guys are wondering on this section i was waiting for the overload champion to spawn on that spot to teleport around here because the problem in this is well i wasn't able to take down a barrier champion in time and to be honest i would recommend to take down a barrier but because we're using a weak barrier weapon I wasn't able to do that method and the reason why I recommend taking out the barrier champion is he's going to immune to overload champions and he's going to give you a hard time which is what happened here. And you can see perfect example of why you should always try your best to take down the barrier champion or if you kill the overload champion like right now you saw you need to take down the overload the barrier champion right away use your super now and if you're using the other exotic plate even better you know all you have to do if you're using the other chest plate is you must use your dps use your heavy and then stagger the champion and then use your super and then use finisher and then pull back or just pull back if you defeated the champion and because i don't have a really strong auto rifle and you know, not using Wish Ender, which some, sometimes I wish I can use it just to make this leap, just to make this much easier. I'm in a really bad situation over here. Because this barrier champion is being complicated. Is not cooperating with me. Not only that, he is immuning the Ovalo champion, and then he is also immune this fallen ad that shoots so much damage, this solar blast. He might as well just be a overload champion. Like, I don't understand why this itty bitty harmless little fallen ad is shooting this solar at me. And is doing so much damage. 
so much damage. It's unbelievable. I just couldn't believe it. I was trying to find different methods to deal with this barrier champion because my auto rifle is not that strong. I mean, you can break the shield, but that's about it. It's the DPS for this auto rifle is horrendously bad. It's only made to just break barrier shields. That's about it. It's not even made to even do DPS at snipers or fallens or anything. It doesn't even do anything, this auto rifle. And this is not my fault, alright, or your fault. This is the game's fault because it's season's auto rifle. Alright, that's the reason why I'm using this. It. not because I want to. It's because I have to. I have to use it. Or I could go to switch to a Lemonarch with... Hunter and get the Voltaire rounds and then break the shield. I mean, that's another method I can think of. But other than that, it's just really ridiculous. Isn't this just fantastic? Yeah, this Overlord Champion was not cooperating with me and then this fallen ad was shooting solar it was acting like an overload champion for some reason eventually i did take down the overload champions and the barrier i was just waiting for the right time to do dps because it looked like i was kind of trapped in this situation because the barrier champion was being extremely reckless and was not letting me take down anything the bear champion because it's immuning, it's getting ridiculous, and then I had to try to take down this ridiculously of the champion because it was just getting out of control. I had to take one of them down, and then once I dealt with the overload champion, then I can deal with the barrier or the baby servitor or baby barrier servitor. I know I make jokes about it, but I'll be honest with you. On the Bungie store, they had the Servitor plush. And I decided to buy two of them because they just look so cute. They remind me of the pirate dungeon where we had to kill these baby Servitors. All right, and then use their corpse to break the fallen shield. I mean, it's just so cute. It's just so fun to make jokes. And plus they're adorable. Alright, so now we get to go to the most interesting part. And my gosh, I was so happy that I didn't get stuck in a wall. See, sometimes you can get... If you dodge too close to the wall on this part or the opposite, especially the opposite side... I don't know if I tell anyone this, maybe I should show a footage, but did you know you can get stuck on Titan if you dodge and hug the wall from the right side on this section? Let me just tell you that I got stuck for 15 minutes. I used my Thunder Crash, any, everything uh, I can think of and I couldn't get out on Titan because I was using the dodge for the Titan. So just be very careful when using the dodge Try to use a dodge and back away. Kind of like a hunter. I wouldn't really use your dodge hugging the wall from the right or left on this section, on this spot where I'm standing. I'm just giving you friendly advice. Trust me, you're going to get stuck in a wall and you're not going to get out. I tried everything my power. All right. That's why you see here I backed up. I didn't want to go close to those walls because I got stuck. I didn't. It happened to me two times, by the way. One as a test and one by mistake. Well, one mistake and then a test. So during this part, there's going to be a barrier champion that's going to give you a hard time. Now, if you are using Warlock, Chaos Reach, or Wish Ender, or a strong weapon, this really wouldn't be an issue. Now, the reason why I'm hiding and looking is because there are snipers. Now, these snipers, they do a lot of damage, and then the servitor is not cooperating with me. So it's just a lot of things going on at this part, and I can't really do 
that much I can't really do anything in this part this is like pretty complicated because I'm trying to take down the barrier I don't have my super and the machine gun does slow firing rate when it's far away this machine gun it's not that great I mean you can see here I'm trying to do damage but it's so slow then it goes to the other side and I'm using my auto rifle and then if I had my super, you know, I could use my super. And then we got the sniper trying to do PvP trials at me right from the right side. So I couldn't really... I couldn't really stand still too much because the sniper was in the way. And I was trying to take him down with the machine gun, but my machine gun was not cooperating. It didn't want to even shoot the sniper the machine gun. Then later on, I just used my sky rifle to see if that would work, and then it did work out. So now, dealing with the evil of low champions, the three of them, which I despise. Now, I was actually a little scared of using my super. I did use my super, but my predictions was correct. It's really dangerous to use your Titan Super when you're not using the exotic chest plate, the Fallen Star. Because you get an overshield and it's more powerful. The problem of if you're using Heart and Most Light is that when you're using your super, it's very risky. You could you could be sent back to orbit because you don't have an overshield. So you have to be extremely careful. That's why in this footage I was hesitating. I was hesitated. I was thinking, saying, what if I use my super and then two of the Oblo champions are going to keep spamming Ark and Solar at me. They might send me back to orb. In other words, they might kill me. So I was thinking about it and saying, maybe I'll take one Oblo champion and then use my super. I think that would be easier. I mean, for this build, for this exotic type. Since I'm using Hardy Most Light instead of the Fallen Star. That's me, by the way. Everyone's different. I didn't want to risk it too much unless I was using the other one. So I decided to just try this method again. See if it works. And yes, I predicted right. Here, proof here. This is why I wasn't spamming my super too much. Especially that part. Because I'm not using the Fallen Star exotic chest plate. Now if I was using it, this would be a completely different story. But because I don't have an overshield, it is extremely dangerous when using Thunder Crash. If you are using Hari Most Light. Now if you're not using it, using the other one. Then I wouldn't really be cautious too much. I would just use your super right away. Because you'll get the overshield and you do a triple amount of damage. That's like the most powerful exotic for the titan. One of them. I mean, I know there's Symphoseps and... Of course, these other goody weapons. Goody exotics for the solar bill for the titan. And I haven't really touched these stasis titans so much because... There's really no stasis surges on Nightfalls this season. So that means your super is going to do no extra 25% on Grandmasters. And you're going to basically be a sponge when using your stasis super. Hey, it's the truth. I'm just being honest. I tried it on Warlock. I tried it on Hunter. And... I dare not to try on Titan. I mean, if I can't even kill an Oblo champion on a Hunter Tornado, how the bunch am I supposed to take down an Oblo champion on a Titan? Maybe with sinful sense if there are surrounded enemies, but still, I'm just saying. For this season. Next season, we'll see what happens. Maybe they're going to buff stasis, supers, who knows, right? So now we're at the boss fight. And we got these cute, adorable baby servitors.
All right. So during this part, if you're using the exotic chest plate, the fallen star, then you can use your super right away and then use your missiles. Now, because I'm not using that weapon, I actually had to dodge. So you can notice here, I dodged. The reason why, the reason why I use my super is because I want to do as much damage as I can, and I had to wait for my dodge. All right. See the problem of you not having the exact chest plate for the fallen. I mean, for the Titan, the fallen star is the the boss can one shot you when you are using your super on Titan. Possibility or knock you off to a wall and then and it one shots you. That's the problem. Since I'm using Hardy Mouse Light, I have to be extremely cautious when using my super. So that means that when I use my super. I had to make sure it's in the right angle and then dodge quickly away. Dodge back away and then the boss will do half damage of your health. That's the only method I can think of by the way, the safest. But as I said, if you don't like Hardy Most Light, which I'm pretty sure not a lot of players will like it. And I don't blame you. You can use the Fallen Star and then you can deal with the boss much easier than what I'm doing right now. Like this method over here is just kind of risky because the boss right now is in the cocoon mode or is in the resting mode but he can still shoot solar until the second phase so here is the problem right now at the moment is that I'm trying to deal with the barrier champion and then something weird happened I don't know how to explain it but I think the barrier champion teleported into the death pit and then it died but it still it still count as me defeating the champion because i tagged it i'm not really sure what happened there but i'll just take advantage of it and i don't blame this bears barrier champion you know teleporting to the death pit it doesn't like i don't blame it it doesn't like titans it's terrified of titans And you know what? They should be scared of Titans, because Titans are amazing for this nightfall. Alright, so now I'm going to be doing DPS at this Saber. I did use the missiles. I'm just trying my best to do as much damage as I can. And then remember, during this phase, you're going to deal with snipers. Now the snipers are going to spawn on the top. So make sure you take them down. If you don't, they're going to keep sniping you and sniping you. And it's a nightmare. Trust me, you want to take them down. You don't want to mess around this part. And just be aware of these explosive shanks over here. I was completely reckless. So one of them was way too close. And I couldn't shoot him in time. So I did kind of mess up the sniper method of taking him down. Because of the rate, the firing rate of the machine gun is so slow. I wasn't able to take down the explosive shanks in time. But if I was using the machine gun, a fast rate machine gun, like Thunderlord for example, then I wouldn't really have any problems at all. You know, dealing with the ads, dealing with this. Dealing with the explosive shanks of almost one-shotting me. That's just the cons of using the arc machine gun, the gran. You know, things happen. So I am using the combo of the scout and the barrier. I try my best to take down this barrier. If you guys notice, I'm trying not to use too much of the of my heavy. Now, I, I do want to make sure I get times 4 missile. The reason why is because I need it for the final phase when the boss goes to into a 
goes to a psychopathic storm caller mode where it pretends to be a warlock main for some reason. I don't blame the boss. I mean, the season with the Arc Soul and the warlock build, I mean, why not be a warlock? The boss wants to be a warlock. Can't blame him. I mean, this season, they're just so powerful. So during this part, I'm actually going to do a mini time skip here. So make sure you take down all the shanks. And then eventually, it will take around two minutes. So I'm going to do a mini time skip here. So now at this part, I'm definitely just going to spam my sky rifle. And make sure everything goes according to plan. So I am going to spam my scout. I'm not going to use anything else. I want to save my heavy. I only have seven. And I could get that heavy brick over there. But the problem is I don't want the boss to move. See, if you move on that in the middle of the map, he's going to start moving around. I want to make sure he's in the right spot so I could do enough damage. When, she, when the boss is going warlock mode to pretend to be a warlock storm collar. So once I do enough damage at the boss, I am quickly going to throw my grenade and then just spam my scout until it starts to go psychopathic mode. So now I'm going to be using my missile, the missiles for the machine gun and then back away. Grab the heavy quickly because I am zero. And then I'm going to try to use the machine gun and then use my super. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.